Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15. MOFE.com. I feel <laughs> a little bit better now. You know, we here. Cancun in the building. What up, bags? What's going on, you know I mean? baby? Motherfucking Hoboken. You already no. know, man. No. You understand? Hoboken stand up. Hard you know what to mean? Big shout out to two of my daughters, man. My Both of my daughters, baby. Yeah. Anaya and Giselle, man. I love y'all, you heard? Yo, first and foremost, you know, they can't really see behind the scenes, but, you know, I want to commend you. You know, you came in Dolo. It's hard for a rapper to handle business dolo nowadays. You know, it's just like it's mm-hmm. like being on stage. You know what I mean? My man's and them hang out with me off the stage and shit. It was time to go on stage and handle my business. You understand? I do that shit dolo. You understand? That's what it is. Word. Yeah. Now, first and foremost, the name Cancun. You know, I think vacation. Oh, oh okay. When, when, I, when I hear Cancun. Well, this is really what it is, man. Yeah. I got the name Cancun by like, you know, because the way I spit, it's hot over there. Mm. That's where all the shorties want to be at. You know what I mean? So... I put it that together, you know, and and my swag, the way I dress and shit, you know, it just brings all that together and that builds yeah. up to be a Cancun rapper, you know what I mean? Word. So that's what it is. Now, Hoboken, you know, when people hear Jersey, you know, they, they think North, Jersey City, Camden. Hoboken kind of get lost in the in the small city thing, but, you know, what's the scene like over there, man? You know, like, talk about Hoboken. It's kind of slept on over there, man. A lot of money over there. I, what I was hearing is like, you know, it's one of the biggest problems in Hudson County. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I was hearing. So, you know, living in Hoboken is like, you know, it's a big circle, man. You know, some neighbors don't get along. Mm-hmm. You understand know I me? Mean? Some niggas do. But basically, everybody damn their family. But like I said, niggas don't get along. You always still got them days where niggas, you know, want to see about you. They see about you. Niggas that's hating, they really actually show you that they hating. You yeah. know what I mean? But, you know, most of part about it, just growing up in Hoboken is like any other hood. You know what I mean? You just gotta try to survive. Just stay to yourself. Stay focused. Stay doing what you gotta do. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you know, some people are gonna be out there to hate you and everything, but you know, you gotta block that. Yeah. You know that? Uh, musically though, they they supporting out there mm. or what? Yes. Mm. Now everybody rap now. Mm. Everybody rap. Before, like you know, back in 1995, it wasn't really too much. It was like you know, Word. a couple people rapping here and there, a couple of groups, blah blah, whatever. But now. It's like everybody and their mama rap. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You feel me? So it's like, that's what it is. But I support that. You know what I mean? I got a lot of family that rap. My cousin C. Gale, my cousin D. Famous, a couple of niggas, you know what I mean? All of them yeah. doing their thing. But I call myself the heart of Hoboken, though, because okay. I can't say I'm the best because I got family that rap and I got friends that rap. And mm. I can't say I'm better than them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I call myself the heart. That's humble. You know, that's what it is. Mm. You know what I mean? Now, you know, you've been rapping a long time. Mm. You know, you set off the air, you've been rapping since the 90s. You know, the difference then and now, you know, I, I, first and foremost, being that you were part of the golden age, are, are you content with the way that, that hip-hop is right now? Like, a lot of flat. You know? Like, you know, it's, it's crazy because, you know, you could look at it like, everybody sound the same, man. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, I don't take that from nobody. You know, if you a rapper, you do what you got to do. You know, I don't hate. You know what I mean? That's what it is. Yeah. But, like, you know, I'm here, I'm here just to bring a little different swag back. You understand? Because, yeah. like, you know, some people that have rapping since the 90s, you know, they order, you know, they get up inside this type of stage of mind, then they start sounding like these people. You understand me? Word. I'm trying to bring that 90 rap back in, but with a different type of swag, like an upgrade. Okay. You understand me? Like I'm upgrading with the with the time that's going now. You understand? Because back then, you know, rap, the verses was different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You rap yourself. I seen you on the interview. Yeah. You caught a body, too. And I'm going to tell you, you about to keep going, too. You had to stop you a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. yeah, you know, that's what it is, man. I'm just here to bring a little bit of 90 flavor back to the, you know, to the 2G. Yeah. See what happens, you know what I mean? Right. Now, you know, being that you, you know, the difference now than the 90s, you know, wh- wh- how do you think you fit in, though? Like, you know, what what is it about your music that, you know, you're going to bring to the table that these new guys who necessarily don't know about Wu-Tang, Biggie, Jay-Z, Nas? You know, because I get a lot of that nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, you know, older gentlemen like yourself, you know, how do you feel you're going to fit in? What you going to do? I feel like, you know, I basically talk about my life, mm. my pain. You know what I mean? Like, going back to that, like, one of my favorite rappers is Tupac. Because just just because the way that, you know, he, he explained his pain and his struggle and his life, even if it was bad or not, he still made the world listen, my yeah. nigga. You understand me? He, you know, all types of people listen. You know what I mean? You got all types of other people listening to Tupac. This and that. So I feel like I basically bring to the table something, something that people could actually relate to. You know what I mean? Or probably going through it right now as we speak because everything I'm talking about is every day. You understand yeah. me? So that's why it makes it so easier for me to write these songs. You understand? Word. How often do you write? 
every day, man. Mm. Every day is like it's something that, you know, this, this is my job. Yeah. You understand me? Regardless if I'm signed or not signed, this is my job. I got to get up in the morning, I go to work, handle my business, come back, now I got a second job. You understand me? Or, I got to make sure I get that done. You understand? Um, Now, studio-wise, like how often do you record and, and do you record everything that you write? Oh, man, studio-wise, you know, I got a studio in my crib and shit. Okay. I basically be engineering myself. So I basically do a joint every day. Mm. You know, I, mean? I do a song every day, you know. I do my own beats, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, basically it's like I'm building up. I'm trying to I'm trying to build up so much work for myself so when a person do actually sign me, I got so much work to give to them. Yeah. Ain't no sit back, ain't no waiting, you understand me? It's guaranteed you can pick whatever song you want to put out. Word. You want me to do that shit over, I do that shit over again, you understand me? But it's basically that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Now, now you say you do your own beats too, production-wise. Mm -hmm. You know, why did you get started in that? I got started doing that because, you know, beats is expensive. Mm. I'm not gonna lie about yeah. that. And I put it to myself like, you know, if I, if I can write my own joint and that's my feeling by me writing, by me doing the beat, I'm putting my feeling in that again. Mm. You understand me? So I basically, I would like everything that I'm doing. You understand? Like if I do the beat and if I write my verse, the whole song I'm gonna love it because that's all my feelings on the beat, yeah. all my feelings on the music. You understand me? But when somebody else do it. Not saying I won't like it, it just brings a feeling a little different because now you got a vibe by they feeling what they was feeling on doing that beat. Mm. You understand me? Yeah. And then work on a concept after that. Now, what kind what kind of genre would you say your music is? I mean, you know, gangster rap, you know, rap. Like, what, what what would you put yourself in? Basically, like you know, not no gangster rap. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I ain't with all that. Yeah. All that other shit like that. You know what I mean? It's just basically about, you know, like storytelling. You know what I mean? My story. Something that I feel like, you know, I want the world to hear because mm. there's a lot of people that's humble like myself that's actually still on the streets right now that's scared to talk, that's scared to say what they want to say, and I'm the one, my music speak for them. Okay. I speak for the humble. You understand me? Because, right. you know, I've been around wild, humble, and scary niggas. You understand me? And I put all that in one. And I build up and I say that I make it a concept. So if you humble or if you a scary nigga or if you a gangster nigga, all that one, I'm speaking for y'all. Mm. You understand me? That's what's up, man. So... Real quick, I'm gonna let you. Let's get into something. What, what, what we got over there? Uh, audio. Got my video over there. Yeah, yeah, we got that. No. You wanna take this phone? Let's take this phone call real quick, though. Yo, 15 MOFE, what's good? It was good. What's good? What up? You live, Cancun. Who that? Yo, lo lower your computer, bro. Talking to the phone. What's good? What's good, yo? Yo, lower your computer, bro. Lower your computer, yo. Yo, this is BJ Hack right here. Yo, what up, Hack Miami. One, man? It's my nigga Miami DJ. Right. Hey, yo, lo lower your computer, bro. I got you. I got Ta you. Talking to the phone, big bro. What's going on? You live with Cancun. What up? What up? What up, DJ Hack One? Yeah, my computer's loaded down. Nah, nah. Ah, uh, yeah, cool, because there's a delay on there, so talk it to the phone. So what's good? Yo, y'all, I'm over here. What's going down, baby? Y'all, I'm over here just, uh... Where you calling from, bro? Yo, I'm coming all, I'm, I'm calling all the way from MIA. Okay. Miami, yo. Okay, all that's right. what's up. What's it about Ken Cool's music that you fuck with, though? <laughs> Yo, I, yo, I grew up with Cancun, man. We both from the same bricks, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And uh, yo, I, I just straight up, I just straight up, I, I see his music. You know what I'm saying? It, it's storytelling. You know what I'm saying? It's straight hip hop, pop, R and B. We got it all in every in every lyric he be. You know what I'm saying? He be doing. Okay. You know, number but love go out to Cancun, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He been doing it since a, since man. Wow. wow. What's, <laughs> what's your favorite Cancun record? My favorite Cancun record. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I got a couple, man. But I, I could I could sit here I could sit here and say um, you know, I want to go ahead and I want to go. Uh, I think story goes on. Okay. I'm just testing you. I'm just testing you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, good you looking, know, though, my nigga. Got, show me couple, love. I got a couple of them for you. You know what I'm saying? But yo, he <laughs> he got so many. He really do. He really do got so many, man. Yeah. Because I got a lot of I got a lot of his copies right now. You know what I mean? 
Yo, yo, you see that bit? Yo, yo, you see that? Here, MIA, because I work the station out here. Okay. Personally. That's what's up. That's so, what's you up. know, I'm just showing some love, man. I'm seeing him live right now, just coming out of work. You know what I'm saying? I, I just go ahead. I'm seeing him live right now. Let him speak his thing. You know what I mean? That's right, what's good up, looking, man. My nigga. Hey, yo, good looking for tuning in, bro. Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. Uh, go ahead and uh, look through. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, That's what's uh, up. Yo, you keep your head up, Cancun. Yo, and uh, yo, you already know. Yo, heck one showing love, baby. Yo, already. Yo, good looking out, bro. All the way from the MIA. One. One. That's what's up. That's a good look, man. Yeah, you know? Nigga, heck one, maybe okay. You know, um, we're in like that video age. You know what I mean? Everything gotta come with a visual. Yeah. You know, what's your thoughts on that? Like. You know, is that something you want to do? Shoot a lot more videos and stuff like that? Yeah, man, I want to do a lot more videos because I feel like the videos that I be doing, they, you know, they, they really explain my, like, my music. You understand? Mm. Because basically, like I said, I write a lot of concepts. So when I do a lot of concepts, I like my, you know, my videos actually look like movies. Um, now, you know, everybody, even the caller stated, you know, you write a lot of stories. You know, you write concepts like you were saying. Uh, where does your inspiration come, you know, from that kind of stuff, man? I mean, you know. Where do you get your ideas from? It's basically just like, you know, you know, you sit back sometimes and, you know, you backtrack everything mm. you've been through, everything you went through. You know what I mean? You can't forget it, you know, and I'm just not going to keep it in my head. And, you know, since I survived it, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to happy to be, be talking about it, you know what Word. I mean? To put it as a song, you understand? Because some people don't have the chance to do that. Some people either go through the problems, either die, or they go through the problems and go to jail. Mm. You know what I mean? I had the chance to go through the problem, survive it, get through it, and I can speak about it. You know what I mean? God gave me the gift to be a rapper. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spit it out to the world. Now, you know, being at the game is so, so flooded. Like, you know, you really feel like, you know, the man upstairs gave you gave you the gift to do that? I mean, you know. I think so. Mm. I think because you know why, man? Because, you know, a lot of people, they quit yeah. after a while, man. You know what I mean? Oh, I ain't getting signed. You know, I met a lot Word. of rappers, you understand me? But I don't go to them to get signed. I go yeah, to them yeah. to let them know, give me your feedback, you understand? Word. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Let's take this phone call real quick. Yo, 15MOFE.com, you live with Cancun. What's good? What's good on? What's good on? What up, man? What's up, Cancun? Who this? Is? Mike, yo, two-time brother. Yo, what up, Mike? This my nigga, man. What, what, what up, up though? yo? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, yo? What you doing? Chillin', man. I'm trying to get rich, man. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get rich. I'm trying to let the world hear some Cancun shit. You understand? Word. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Any questions, bro? You good? No, I'm good, man. I grew up with him, man, so I know okay. everything about him. So shout him out then. Say, what's, uh, say yo, we fuck with that Cancun shit out here or something, man. Let's go, man. Yeah. You want to talk on the radio? Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, got, you know. God. I know what's up. All right, baby, I'm just showing you love. All right, good looking on the call, man. You got it. And my beloved friends and shit, but they called radio like, what's up, man? What oh, you doing, man? Exactly like, me. shout like, me out, yo. dog. Exactly what I'm doing. My nigga, <laughs> you know what I'm doing, man. Well, like, yo, well, good looking, on, Mike. Bro. Good looking, my nigga. Yeah, <laughs> let's take this right here, too. Yo, 15MOFE.com, you live in Cancun. What's good? Yo, what's good, Cancun? Yo, who this, my nigga? Your boy Fellow was good, man, my nigga. Oh, was good, good fellow was good, my nigga. Yeah, my nigga just called through to show some love, you know what I mean? Word. Shout you out. Is. You know, good looking, man. You know, your boy trying to get okay. there, man. It's my turn at bat now, yeah. dog. Word, I feel you. That's yeah, I'm going to show some love, my nigga. Keep doing your thing, man. You, we've been doing this back in the day, you know what I mean? Yo, are you tuned know, in man. right now? What's up? I said you tuned into the show? Yeah, I'm tuned in okay. right now. That's what's up. You know, in a little bit, I'm going to make them freestyle, too. So you know what it is. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. All right. all right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Okay. I'll hit you up, all right? All right, my nigga, one. We're good. All right, one. Now, you know, the fans, the support, you know, is it has it been good mm -hmm. with the people surrounding you and stuff? You know, it's been good. Then, you know, it's been bad. You know, mm -hmm. you got you got, you got got the ones that actually want you to do stuff, and you got the ones that actually want to see you do stuff before yeah. you face. So. You understand know me? So it's like a seesaw type of thing. But you know, for me, I could say eighty percent love me and shit. You know what I mean? Ain't not, ain't not, ain't nothing that to love me about. You understand? Know I don't, I don't talk hypey about myself, thinking this, that. Nah, man, I put myself on the same level, even if I'm, I'm, I'm my head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, you know, this industry too, like you know, business wise, like have you been getting shut out a lot, a lot of meetings and stuff like that? I mean, you know, what's what's it been like with the upper upper people like? See, like it been it been like a little been like a little trail, man. Yeah. Like you know, it been it been hard because coming from Hoboken, 
you know, it, it's not like a lot where people actually go down there to get talent. You understand me? Mm -hmm. So by me shining out with this dude or go doing this this little show or that little show, you know, I don't mind it. You understand me? But it's like at the same time, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop like trying to get with this person, or get with that person. You know what I mean? It's just like you know, it's, it's a little struggle, but. I'm bound to get there. You understand? Me? I'm bound to get there because my music gonna explain itself. You understand me? Yeah. Um, I like your I like your energy level too, man. You know, you got good energy. Like, you know, what I mean, a lot of people come in here, man. They don't know, you know, what I mean, like be boring ass interview, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Man. Um, but like, you know, influences coming up. Like, who who were some of your influences coming up, like rapping wise? Well, like you know. Like I said, you know, it's a lot. It, you know, I got a lot of rappers that. Give me you know, a top actually, five right now. You know, I got DMX, I got Nas, I got Jay Z. Mm. You know what I mean? I got Rock Cam. You understand? You know, it's a, it's a bunch, man. Mm. You know what I mean? I yeah. keep going. You know what I mean? I don't want nobody to feel bad or feel mad. I ain't saying anything. <laughs> I fucks with every rapper, right. but I do got my top five or top four to actually sit down and zone out to. Yeah, you understand yeah. me? Sometimes you want to hear some Tupac, you want to sit there, you want to drink and smoke whatever you want to smoke and sit there and zone out and think your thoughts, you understand me? Word. Sometimes you want to feel like Biggie or Jay-Z and feel like you want to just spend money and feel like you a jigged out nigga, you go do it, Word. you know what I mean? <laughs> um, now, now, what's your thoughts on that? Like, you know, the whole, you know, money thing and hip-hop, like, you know, it kind of lost focus on what we was here for, you know? How you adapt to that shit? See, I'm not really like, you know, if I didn't have two kids, man, I won't, you know, I won't say I'm in it for the money. Yeah, you yeah. You understand me? Because I love doing music. I hear music. You understand me? It's like, this is something I actually like to do. I would get tired. I love to get tired doing music. Yeah. You understand me? But it's like, the money wise, you know what I mean? It's going to come regardless. You know what I mean? It's depending on how you how, how you present yourself. You understand mm -hmm. me? How your song put yourself out there, how you be yourself on stage, how you do this and that. There's a lot of shit, but. I'm not really, I'm not really worrying about the money wise. I'm just worrying about the future. I'm worrying about the long wise. You understand? Because you can get a lot of money and spend that shit. Yeah. And be broke as hell. You understand? There's a lot of people I know is broke like that. I'm not gonna say their names, but you understand? It's Heavy like bags. That. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy bags is broke <laughs> as hell, son. <laughs> know that. Nah, but. Yeah, that's what it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, but um, you know, like East Coast music, you know. We got to kind of get a bad rap now. It's kind of kind of biting off the South a little bit. You know, what's your thoughts on bringing this East shit back? Like, you know, what you think it's going to take to bring that real New York music back, man? I think it's going to take, it's going to take a lot of motherfuckers going to be behind me. Mm. You know what I mean? Not a lot of niggas that's going to hate. You know <laughs> what I mean? You know, if you see somebody moving forward and try to move and help the coast that you from or help the side where you from, right. you might just roll on with it. You understand me? Yeah. That's what I'm doing, man. I'm not trying to. I'm not, I'm not trying to knock the west, the north, south, east, none. I'm not trying to knock nobody. Yeah. I'm just trying to say, if I'm going to start, son, if you want to follow, you follow. You know what I mean? Because same thing if it was me. If they was doing son, they started son, uh, east coast flow, whatever y'all going to do, however y'all going to bring it back, I'm going to follow it. You yeah. Know what I'm Word. Um, now, being that, that you said that, too, like, you know, do you feel as though, like, a lot of these guys be following following that south wave right now and, yeah, and stuff? Man. It's bad out there, it, huh? It, it's it's funny too, man, because you got actually rappers actually trying to talk like people from the South. You Word. can't fucking do that. You can't fucking talk like the South. Yeah. You can't show the yer and all that. Come on, man. You know what I mean? It's just, they, they think, Don't make sense. Yeah, if, and if you're using it to save yourself in the music, you're doing the wrong thing, man. Yeah. 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 15. MOFE.com. My Fifth Dimension boys just walked into the building. Shout out to my guys. I haven't seen them in forever. You know what I mean? Cancun still in the building. For sure, for sure. You know what I mean? Um, two very different records. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't even say. You know, now, now talking to you, getting to know your music a little bit. I can't even say. You know, you got very nice style, man. You know, Looking, different. Man, I'm trying to be original, man. Yeah. Now, um, you know, the commercial side of records. Yeah. You know, it doesn't seem forced, which is always a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so what's the difference between you writing that hard shit and the commercial shit? Like, you know, state of mind, writing wise. You know, let's talk like about basically that. Basically, with the commercial stuff, man, you know, I, you know, I bring myself into another world, man. I bring mm. myself into a world where it's like, you know, I got to I gotta basically know that the kids might hear this. You know what I mean? Because, you know, the older heads might hear this. You know, you got some aunts and uncles that don't like that little, they call it cussing and all that yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? So, I, I, you know, I basically put myself to the side on that. When I do my, you know, my little hard stuff like that, that's when I get in my little zone. Word. You know what I'm saying? That's when I get in my zone where... 
I just start thinking about my struggle and everything else, and I just, you know, I write my heart. You know what I'm saying? Right. Give me one thing about Cancun that the people out there don't know about you. Well, I'm that you cool, want them to know. Humble as hell. You know what I mean? I work. I I, I work 100 in every song I do. You understand me? You know I don't go half ass, and I'm not scared to be original. Mm. You know good I'm answer. Saying? That's a very good answer. What you think? Good answer, huh? It's crazy. Um, now a- as far as projects, what are we working on? You know. Videos, what are we working on? Like, you know, what's next for Cancun, man? Well, the next step I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get this mixtape out, you know what I mean? I'm called The Struggle Zone, you understand? Mm. Get that out there, whatever. But basically, I'm trying to see if I can get like a a DJ to actually, you know, help help me out, you know, push that out there like that. Because I'm not really actually trying to get signed right away because a lot of people think that, man, once you get there, you got to get signed because it's steps to that, you understand me? Word. You got to get you got to get people to like you, people to know you, and people understand that having, basically have confidence to go to the store and buy your shit, you understand yeah. me? Yeah. Because you're not just go, I'm down with Puffy, so they're going to buy my shit, my shit in stores. Nah, man, you know, so basically, you know, I'm taking it step by step. Word. Now, you said Struggle Zone? Struggle Zone? Struggle Zone. Yeah. Now, let's talk about that title. Why is that necessary? How does that relate to you? Because every like every block that I chill in Hoboken is, is a struggle. It's a different mm. struggle. You know what I mean? So I feel like everything that I'm gonna put in that mixtape is gonna be from every block or every street that I went to in Hoboken projects. You understand mm. me? Because I, I I basically I love my hood. You understand me? You know some people like you can't be saying Hoboken all that. I say Hoboken to the day I die. You understand? Because Word. that's where I did my fuck ups and that's where I did my good shit. Mm-hmm. You understand? So the struggles don't basically come from everything I'm doing in the streets. Where now the two does music help you separate the two? The bad and the good? Yeah, it do, man. You know, because sometimes, like, I don't know if people use it like I do, but when you fucked up and you mad as hell, you stressed out, you know, some niggas uh, just go do something to go do something. Or some, you know, I just sit back, right? Word. Take out everything I was mad about, try to make a song about it, and say it, and then hear it back. Mm. And that, that, you know, basically I'm answering myself. You understand me? That's what's up. Now, we got this record. Uh, You got that, that Hoboken record lined up? It's a video? Nah, it ain't a video. Oh. The real H.O.B., my man, yeah. my man Bill. You know, you want to get, in, you wanna get over here, bro? What's up, man? Come through, my nigga. Let me sit down, yo. Nigga, Bill, meet you at the guard house. I didn't mean to catch you, you know I, mean? I didn't mean to catch you off guard or nothing. I'm just saying, I'm going to get into this record, but I forgot <laughs> yeah, you sitting yeah, over there. I'm, I'm you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
it's it's just what it is, man. Like we a small town with with, with big names. Man. You know now. You know when, when when artists like y'all get together and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like you know, how does it feel like you know making music at you know at the age now you came up with with, with each other? Like you know what I mean? Like is it still tell a good you, feeling? Tell you right, we call well, my group with me him and my man Nice Boogie. Big shout out to Nice Boogie. Word. You know what I mean? We call H one hundred the holding crew. Okay. Like the holding cell in Hudson yeah, yeah. County. You know what I mean? Word. Both, like a thousand cameras out there. Yeah. Like, like holding cell. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Take this call. <laughs> you right. <laughs> hey, yo, 15mofe.com is good. Yo, what's going on, man? Yo, I got to give a shout out to my man Q. I didn't even know Q was there, baby. <laughs> hey, you you again, man. The heck one once again. You already know I'm watching the show, baby. <laughs> All right, that's you know what, what it saying? is, man. Yo, y'all keep your heads up, and I fucks with y'all. Y'all already know what time <laughs> it is, yo. Show, Love y'all, yo. One. Word, Love, that's man. real. <laughs> he kept it. He kept it quick. That's what's up. Um, but now we got this record. You know, what's the name of it? What's out to? I call it the real H.O.B. You okay. know what I mean? Now, you know, explain how this record came about and, you well, know, what it's about. My man, Nice Boogie, well, um, Styles P was in the hood. He was doing his little video and okay. shit in the hood, whatever. Chow Tito Grand. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, my man, Nice, just happened to took, took a little sample from that video when he put, I salute the whole H.O.B. They showing me love. Mm. And then he just put it to the J the Kids beat, the um, one of them pressure that that pressure yeah, yeah, that yeah. Blood, blood pressure, pressure. beat, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he put it together and shit and asked me like, "Yo, man, let's just do this little anthem." Now, so, now what was it? What was it about y'all together though? Like that needed to be on that record, like. Oh man, cause yo, we the heart of Hoboken, mm. man. You know, we one of them okay. groups that you know. I say everybody got their groups, everybody do their thing, whatever, whatever. But I feel like you know, we one of them dudes that actually be on the streets like that, man. You understand me? We actually be right there on the streets, and we feel like, you know, he living a struggle, nice living a struggle, I'm living a struggle, and we just going to put all that struggle in one song, and then we going to make that shit the hard old boat. 15. Like, yeah. M-O-F-E dot com. For sure. Fucking movie in the, oh, God. <laughs> he bought the whole set with him. <laughs> okay. That's what's up. Um, Cancun. What's up, my nigga? You know what I mean? About to get out of here. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Go, give, your, give your social media out, and your, uh... You know, any baby well, mamas you need to curse out or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Now well, nah, man. You know, basically, you know, Cancun Gonzalez, my Facebook page. You understand me? Cancun Gonzalez is my Instagram. You understand? 100 Cancun is my, my YouTube. So hit me up on there, whatever. You know, keep in touch, whatever. Keep me posted on anything. If y'all keep yourself posted on my music. You understand? Word. That's what's up, big homie. YouTube, man. Go ahead, man. Get Quarter Bill, QB Latson at Facebook, at Twitter, Last Fabs Events. You're going to be throwing them social and corporate events, you know, just got incorporated, you know what it is, you know. Word. And Release I still, and I got that, there. yeah, we got that motherfucking, that clothesline coming out, stay fly. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? That's what's up, man. Yo, how many people are you going to punch in the face in your lifetime? A lot. <laughs> nah, man, I, oh. I, 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 ain't, I, ain't, I ain't copping to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you got like that, he got like that calm <laughs> voice, like, y'all, I'll, I'll, I'll kill this one. That nigga a genius, you know man. Mean? That guy's a genius right there, man. Word. Me, Leather glove. It wasn't me. We got some beats over there? What's up, man? Let's go. Some hard shit. Yeah. Yeah, 15 You already know, boy. The millionaire music.com. Uh-huh. Yeah. H-O-B, H-100, the whole crew. Come on. Let's motherfucker. Hey, yo. Everybody wait for Cancun to shine. They know when I get on some punchline shit, everybody got to dot it out. In the hood, I got mad pool, that's why I'm hot. With a lot of niggas hating, that's why I stay quiet. So when my gun work off, me and my car work off. End of the story, don't believe me, jerk off. And I ain't trying to talk breezy on tracks. Just leave a little facts and let niggas know where I stand at. Black slash Puerto Rican. When I've been in this game, since niggas rockin' Patrick, you and sneaky. I'm nice, and can't nobody tell y'all different. My bad, they can tell y'all different by saying I'm different. I don't need no hook on this, cause niggas still gon' feel it. Bitches still gon' want this hooked on dick. I got mad connections, real niggas with heart. When we have a meeting, this shit like the Million Man March. I don't like to start, I like to finish shit. So even though you die, I still come out the courtroom innocent. I love getting sucked for free. Buy a dime on the place on the map, where it's hard to see. Got me now, I'm a fucker. I know where I'm reppin'. Since troublemakers, now niggas won't change their opinion. Cause niggas know I'm about to blow. Cause I help the beat in the beat. Help the concept like a pro. I know niggas like, damn, that nigga still got it. 
But it beat that nine dog, I still got it Ever since Rick got my mind ain't here That's why his name on my back, cause I'm a carrier here And I ain't spit like this for a minute I've been in the street life, hand doing business until my job is finished No matter what I'm getting paid for, no matter what I'm gonna make it And take this rap game and rape it Yeah, uh-huh Okay Go quarter bill Yo Okay you know Yo Let's go Uh-huh H-O-B, stand up Come on Yo, yo Quarter Billy Young Drop shit like an atomic bomb the last dawn Crack king, your team full of pawns So be gone with today's math, all born Understand, I be that quiet before the storm I bear arms like old men protecting farms Imported gums, when the feds watch my psychic warns My block is hot as it gets, I'm posted on Fifth, I'm selling it, cause them boys they ain't stopping shit There's more cash, with some siphon on your ass I smoke a bag of grass, kept the work son, I never stash Run fast like Mike Johnson, did the dash Or maybe flash, either way I still gotta smash My last name alone will wait like Al Capone I keep the chrome, a street move that's in Gator Stone And buy a moon, keep a chick that I like to go next telephone Tripping back whenever I ain't home A lot of cats run around claiming this and that Talking whack, until Q go and get the gap Then it's that. and yo guard you know I got your back So take this crack, flip it twice, I want the whole stack The whole pack, from Benji's to Andrew Jack's it can't cool back, I was gone for a minute Now I'm back up in this bitch ready to handle business Heard a lot of niggas talking trash, like I don't got it They just mad they couldn't walk through my path Whatever y'all got now and I had Matter of fact, I still got it, I just add more to the tag You can't tell me shit, different crew feel me Plus I'm an OG, P-I-M-P I don't gotta have the best punchline, it's crunch time I need these fake thugs, niggas, it's such time I ain't here to show off, just here to blow off Some of my life is pain I live with for so long I bring no gimmicks, nigga, I'm original I speak the lyrics, going hard is my principle I think when y'all right, I just speak through the mic Let niggas know what part of the streets is my life yeah. H1 at the holding crew. Clinice from Stats, AK, the motherfucking gunslinger. 15 minutes of fame, yo, man. Right. Good looking, baby. Heavy bag. Yo, yo you, bag, man. Yo, I want to you know, man. Son, too, nah. man. Like, <laughs> nah, I'm retired. I'm retired. <laughs> Good job, though. Good but I am that. coming back out tomorrow. <laughs> February is the return of heavy bags. Just so y'all all know. Mm -hmm. Yo, my man, my man from Canada, Phil, just hit me and said, Freestyle is fire. Thought that was on wax. Yo, good looking, man. Yeah, yo, man. much love, yo. Word up. So, you know, shout to him. Word up. Big shout but yo, we out of here. Payday up next, you know. Can't cool, man. You, you know, good shit. Yo, we got to keep it touch, man. You already. Cool Word ass up, nigga, man. You know. Word up, man. Yo, one you know? more thing, man. Yeah. We lost two, two good people this week, man. You know, rest in peace. David Little and my mother. I, I consider her my mother, man. Shirley Miller. Word. We going to celebrate your life and I'm on your death, man. Word. Word. Yo, rest in peace. Rest yo. in peace. That's what's up.